Hi, Scorpios. I am here to do your reading. Okay, Scorpios. Remember, these are not personal readings, Scorpio. These are energy readings, meaning I can only pick up on the strongest energy, whether that energy is really, really good or really, really bad. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see. Why did your person fall in love with you? Okay, Scorpio. Got to light some sage. Let's light some sage here. Archangel Michael. Ancestors, please come through for Scorpio. Archangel Michael. Ancestors, please come through for Scorpio. This is Scorpio's reading. This reading is for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Let's pick up on your energy. Uh, let's see what your love language is, Scorpio. And the person that you're dealing with, let's check out their love language first and see why they fell in love with you. Scorpio's love language, please. Wow. Treasure Island. Okay, Scorpio. So you have the number nine here, Treasure Island, in your energy. So you know the law of attraction here. And you know how to bring your dreams into fruition. So in a relationship, whatever relationship you're in, Scorpio, you have more than you need, okay? And sometimes you just can't see it because you know the law of attraction and you really attract people to you, okay, Scorpio? But you got to understand there's a limit. And you have to understand when you're in a loving relationship, you have everything that you need. But sometimes your eyes are so hungry that you just can't see what's already in front of you, okay? So you're attracting everything that you want. You know how to attract any and everything that you want here with Treasure Island, okay? Scorpio, let's check out and see the person you're dealing with. What is their love language? Please, Archangel Michael ancestors come through for the person that Scorpio is dealing with. What is their love language? A leg up. Okay, so <clears throat> the number 34 is here. Here, a leg up. So this person is receiving help at this time. Okay, so the person you're dealing with, with is having a leg up on a situation, okay? They're getting a little help um, in the love situation. I don't know if that is competing for your attention or the person that you're in love with with you having Treasure Island attracting what you want, the person has a leg up on the situation. Receiving help here. And this person recognizes that they need others just as much as, you know, they need themselves. So, yeah, they need others just as much as they need you. Um, they need you just as much as you need them, okay? So, this person that you're dealing with, they have a leg up in a situation. You guys really need each other, okay? Both of you need each other in a relationship. You 
have the law of attraction, okay, Scorpio? The person you're dealing with, and you're probably just not seeing that you are very fortunate in your energy and that you have everything that you need, okay? That's your love language. The person you're dealing with has a leg up on a situation. All right, let's see what's going on here. Let's see why this person loves you. Maybe this person has a leg up on the situation because maybe the person you've been with or someone from your past, okay? I don't know your situation, but someone already has a leg up on the situation over others with being with you, okay, Scorpio? That's what I'm thinking here, but we'll see how it plays out, okay? Why does this person love Scorpio? Why does this person love Scorpio? Ancestors come through for Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. You are the magician, okay? Well, the magician here. The high priestess. Hmm. The high priestess. Wow, Scorpio. And the hangman, the hangman here. Okay, so what I'm seeing is Scorpio. Wow, this is very powerful energy here. Okay, in your energy, the person loves you because you know how to make shit happen, okay? That is what I'm seeing, you have the magician. You know how to make things come true. You know how to, you have I will, okay? This is what will happen, okay? Your person knows that you know how to make things happen. The high priestess here, very secret thinker, okay? Um, yeah, you know how to bring things into life and you have the hangman, you're very enlightened, okay, Scorpio? You're very en enlightened. My hangman card, I usually, usually think of it as very enlightened energy. Um, you have a lot of aha moments here. You know the law of attraction in your energy. You can manifest anything that you want. This person loves this about you, okay, Scorpio? You have the magician energy. Um, you know how to get your way. You have the secrets here to life. And you are very enlightened about the love situation and your relationship here. Scorpio, let's see what you think about your person. Spirit come through for Scorpio. What does Scorpio think about the person that they are dealing with? Okay, so we have here the Eight of Pentacles. Let's see what else is going on. The Four of Pentacles. One more card for Scorpio. One more card, please. Wow, this is too much. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles, this person is all about their Pentacles. Um, Scorpio, are you dealing with the, the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords? Okay. 
Okay, hold on, Scorpio. So, let me show you your cards first, Scorpio. I don't know if I showed you your cards, but this person thinks that you are, they love that you are the magician here, the high priestess, and the hanged man. Very enlightened energy. This is very smart energy here, okay? Either way, you can get your way here. You have a very forceful energy in um, attracting anything that you want here. Your person here with the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Pen Pentacles, Speedy Success. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords here. Mm. Okay, Scorpio, does your person like money? Are you dealing with the um, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn? This is a lot of pinnacles, and it seems as if you feel like this person keeps their coins close to their chest. This person is probably always working on their finances and speedy success here. And they do have a leg up in a situation. Maybe this person that you're dealing with is always juggling work, finances. Um, they keep their coins close to their chest. But also here with the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, I'm seeing that this is also to you their downfall. Maybe in a love situation. The Five of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords here. So, Scorpio, you might think a person is too focused on material things or money in order and not love, okay? Let's see here. What does this person, what does Scorpio think about this person? Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Energy here. Someone works on a lot of money. I'm seeing that you're dealing with a person that has a leg up on a situation because they have a lot of money. But you also think that this is this person's downfall in your eyes. Very enlightened here. Yeah, their money is taking them into a dark place. This is what Scorpio thinks, okay, cross watcher? Hmm. The King of Pentacles. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, so I'm seeing what's going on here. What does your person think that you need to work on, Scorpio? What does Scorpio needs to work on? Wow. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Scorpio, your person thinks that you are too hard on them. Um... I don't know why you always get this, Scorpio. You have rules to your relationship. There's levels to this, okay? And how you see love is just how you see love, and things should be a certain way. You have the Ten of Pentacles. They have the King of Pentacles. Um, for some reason, Scorpio, you're seeing that this person, money takes them to a dark place. Okay, or this person, 
this person does things more for money than they do for love. And Scorpio, your person feels like the reason why they love you is because you are very enlightened. You um, you are the magician. You have a lot of willpower, okay, Scorpio? Your willpower makes you very attractive. This person loves you for your willpower. You are the magician. You know how to make things happen. You are the high priestess, okay? and the hangman, very enlightened in the situation. And if need be, you will leave a person hanging with the 10 of pentacles here, what they think that you need to work on. You have solid rules of how you feel and how things should go, okay? All right, Scorpio, that's what I'm seeing for you and your person. I don't know, you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you, Scorpios, for coming through. This was your reading. Bye, Scorpios.